on the Yamaha R3s in the European Cup and also on the ETC holding the European Championship. There's a lot of belief he's got on the path to a successful racing career. If this is the genesis of this, showcasing his skills and brushing off his cobwebs after a bit of a long off-season, that is the chance. But Al Salati thinks he might have a look up the inside here, which he does look into turn 16. And Pinnadi looks across, thinks, right, you can have that, but I'll try and get you back on the slipstream down the pit straight. He's also got to watch for Saskia Tataro behind the... It's in South Africa, and Billardy coming back at him now on the pit straight in the slipstream. He's going to pull himself alongside. Drafts past the Yamaha and into the lead once again. He goes and back up the inside, goes outside to Kalati. He's not done, but he might go a little too deep. Look at also what for Saskia Tataro in that count on that Kawasaki. Three of them all together as they try to pull away. They're already on lap three. And now then, Saeed Al Salehi with the move down the pit straight, but the, the sequence there was Salehi made the move up the inside into the final corner. Vinladin drafted past him back down the pit straight in the braking zone. Al Salehi repassed him again. Now with clear air, is this the chance now for Al Salehi to start to pull away, or does Mohammed Bin Ladin have enough to keep with him? Throughout this next phase of the race, we've got on lap three now, two laps completed. Initially, you can see out of turns 